Hello there, and welcome to Everything Coptic. I am very excited for this Virgin Mary fast that we have begun this Saturday. And keep in mind, this fast is a revival. And what does it mean to be revived? There is fatigue. We are tired. We are not motivated. We need something to pick us back up, to encourage us in our race that we run, to encourage us to endeavor towards the prize. You will learn this. But when I met my wife, I had the same excitement, motivation. You have a goal in mind. You have excitement. You have a reason for each and every action. And we see this with our Lord Jesus Christ regarding his mother, Mary. We see very clearly in Theotokia, as it says, that God looked down from heaven and found no one like you. The Father chose you, and the Holy Spirit overshadowed you, and the Son condescended and took flesh from you. And we see the same motivation, the same love of Virgin Mary, that she vowed to live a virgin life in the temple, that she waited upon the Lord, and that her will was always to follow the will of the Father. When Gabriel came and presented the proposal of God that she would give birth to Christ, she accepted and she gave birth to our Savior. We are in the position to be revived. And when we are in this position, we look towards someone who can motivate us, someone we can follow, someone who can provide an example. Who is this person but Virgin Mary? This fast is a fast of passion, a fast of joy, a fast of following an example to give things up that are good in order to get something better. Virgin Mary has lived a virgin life, and this life is not filled with emptiness as the world teaches regarding virginity. Rather, this is the fullness of life, and this is why Gabriel, when he called to Virgin Mary, said that she is full of grace. Through virginity, she bore and was filled with God. And likewise, we too are called to be filled with and to bear God, although not literally in the flesh as she did, but spiritually our Lord Jesus Christ enters our hearts so that our inwards may be transformed, that we may express these fruits bearing qualities of our Lord Jesus Christ. And who better of an example to follow during this time than our mother, the Theotokos, the Virgin Mary. Therefore, I encourage you, brothers and sisters, have joy towards this fast. What a great opportunity for a revival for us to endeavor beyond complacentness and beyond our fatigue and beyond all these other things and to move forward as Virgin Mary is called a net that brings forth the believers as we follow her in our journey towards heaven. I pray that during this fast, we allow our Lord to come upon us, that the Father may choose us, that the Holy Spirit may fill us that the sun may enter our hearts, and that through this Trinitarian work, we may bear fruit to our Lord Jesus Christ, belongs all glory and honor with his good Father and the Holy Spirit. And glory be to God forever. Amen.